Welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is my first time ever doing a collab with another Simmer. So this collab is with Simmer Erin. She is an amazing person. She has an awesome channel. So I reached out to Erin to do this collab because I saw that Claire Siobhan and Delegacy, they, or Delegacy, that they had done this collab before and I thought it was a great idea. So she agreed to do it, which I was so happy. Erin actually reached out to me, or she found my videos, my channel, like a few, like five months ago or something like that. And so we I've been like watching her videos ever since she's got great videos She's an amazing person. She's just like such a positive person. Her videos are awesome She does like all these like lookbooks and she does like let's play She also does like cast videos and it's just really cool to see because like some of the topics like she'll talk about things that are like really serious But while there's like the cast video going on and it's just really cool to see that it's just very different and unique videos So definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe to her channel give her channel some love because she totally deserves it She's amazing amazing and I'm so so happy to do this collab with her it was so much fun and it's my first collab ever so I'm so excited so basically what we did is Erin sent me her sims and I'll explain it all in the video as well but she sent me her sims and they were very like rainbow themed so I of course put my own touch on them and I made them into like royal sims and they're so unique and so cool because they each have their own color scheme including like the hair is all that color and everything so it's just going to be so cool what I did is send her princess Amira from my royal family series and I sent her Harley from my dynasty series and she made them into her own little style too so Erin is going to be posting that video at the same time I'm posting this video so I will put the link to that video and her channel in the description below but first let's go ahead and take a look at what we did to Erin's sims okay so so like I mentioned, I did my, of course, own touch and made all of these sims into royal sims at first because Erin and I don't have the custom content that they originally had. So I will put before and after pictures at the end because at the end of this, I do show Erin the sims, like the final product. So I will put before pictures so you guys can see what they look like before all this. So basically her sims, each of them, all, all this group of sims, they were a group of roommates all living together, but they each are representing a different color including like their hairstyles and as you can see at the bottom like most of them don't have hair because I didn't have a lot of her hair that she had on them originally but they all have their own hairstyles and I did take pictures from the original video that she had made where she made them so I will put that in the description below as well but so this sim is Abby Simmons and she is a or she's aspiring to be a botanist and she was super into the outdoors the aspirations and traits that you see on the side aren't all accurate because Erin had some custom content some custom content traits and I had to like randomize some of them so just ignore the traits on the side but basically this sim she wanted to be a botanist and of course I am making them into their own like like princesses and princes and kings and stuff so I made her into a princess and tried to keep with the theme of like her being super into nature so I thought this dress was perfect like as soon as I saw her and heard about her traits I immediately chose this dress I did these flowers for her earrings and for her necklace and of course like her hair is green and I did like green eyeshadow and everything too so you guys didn't get to see like completely up close like her finish but I will show that at the end of the video so I just loved the way she looked in that so this right here is Candace Streeter and she of course is pink so that was her theme also so Erin had some custom content skins so because of when like when I downloaded the sims it just gave them the pale like skin color which I didn't realize until later so I changed that later because their skin colors aren't supposed to be like this like she's supposed to be a little bit more tan so I do change that later on so you guys will get to see that finished product but I went with like a very Juliet style for her like kind of Shakespearean princess so the hair I thought was perfect with the long braid I've never used that before and the dress was perfect too I downloaded some new custom content for this challenge or for this sim swap because I knew I was going to be doing this of course I do that like after I have already done the custom content video but that was just a very cool medieval dress that I thought was perfect so I'm excited to show you guys her at the end too so this one is chaining Maloney so his colors was red or color was red and basically for him she had him as like a partier like he originally was wearing this like DJ outfit so he's like a dance machine he's hot-headed and he's a party animal so I went with 
something very different for him, I did kind of like a pirate king. Just someone who looked like they kind of like rob people for a living, but he's still like the king. So he's like kind of like a king of thieves sort of thing. But he, he looks like a pirate to me. Like I give him gold earrings. I give him some eyeliner too, because I thought that was appropriate. And then for the crown, I do like this medieval gold crown, which looks so good on him. Oh my God, he looked amazing. I'm so excited for him too. So this one is Helena Calloway and her color was silver slash gray. So for the hair, this is the original hair that Aaron had for her. So I, I didn't even know that you could pick like a color when you're searching for clothes. So I found that out through Aaron's video, but I did that, which was really, really neat. So Helena, one of her traits was pleasure, which means like she just likes to do things because she likes to have fun. So she likes to go out and party. She likes to like maybe go and drink. She just does things for the fun of it basically. So it, it kind of reminded me of like, she's also very perky and stuff too, but kind of reminded me of very like boho sort of, but her color was silver. So it's kind of hard to do boho in that way. But I just thought like the outfit I ended up going with for her was really cool. Also her skin was supposed to be much darker than this. So I do change that later on. So you guys will see, get to see the finished product. But yeah, I was like, cause I was looking at her and she was like wearing silver everything. This was probably the sim that I spent the most time on, but I was like so focused on her. Cause I was like, why does she look so washed out? It's because her skin was supposed to be much darker than that. And it looks so much better when her skin was darker too. But yeah, because with the, the light skin and like the silver everything and the gray, it, she just looked really washed out. So I was trying to figure out that for her. I also did some silver eyeshadow because I believe Erin had that for her originally as well. And so I went, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, she looks so much better like this. So with her dress, I made it kind of like a little bit scandalous too. And then yeah, you can see I also fixed Candace's skin as well, the pink sim. So yeah, it just looks so much better. And their eyes too, I realized like, oh, their eyes are supposed to be like silver and red. It just changed it that way because of I didn't have like the custom content eyes, but it looks so much better like that. With the hair that she has, I love this hair, but every crown that I used, it kind of made it glitch a little bit. Like as you can see, it's it's doing something weird to the hair. But the crown I end up going with, like this one, so it was originally like white, like the pearls on it were very white and light, but with the glitch that was happening, it made it look a little darker and grayer, which actually looked really cool. So I was excited to do that. So this right here is Beckett Waters. So he's supposed to represent blue. So Aaron originally had him, so I have mostly Max's Match like custom content, mostly, especially hairs. I have like all Max's Match hairs. And Aaron originally had him in like an alpha hair, which looked so cool, it looked so good. It was like this silvery blue, but the one that I have for him ended up looking like cotton candy a little bit, which is like her words too, to quote. So she was saying that like in her video when she originally made him that she had to go with alpha because the blue made it look like cotton candy if it was Max's Match. So I only have Max's match, but I thought that one looked really cool. Plus the hair was like kind of wavy and flowing over it. And like the blouse too reminded me of kind of like a waterfall a little bit. Him was a little tricky, but I went with like a silver and blue color scheme for him. And then I ended up putting like these tights on him too, because I didn't think the boots really looked that good with it. So this is what I ended up going for him, but I thought it ended up looking really cool. And I'm actually really happy with the way that turned out. So this right here is Dion. H oh, well, okay. Well, before the yellow one was Dion Houston. I went back to Beckett because I was like, no, I don't know how I feel about that shirt. I ended up sticking with the same shirt. So that was like useless, but this is Dion. And she named him this because of like Dijon mustard sort of thing. So his color is yellow. So he's supposed to be very artsy. And I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. I didn't want to just go with like the King's outfits that I had because you guys have seen that so many times so I wanted to do something a little bit different so with him I end up going with I don't end up going with like a really a royal theme for him I end up going with either like he looks like he walked out of my dynasty series mostly I don't put like a crown on him or anything cause I didn't think anything fit very well especially with like the outfits so since he was artsy I went with this he's like his aspiration is to be rich so I was like you know what this I like suit looks a little bit tacky I feel like it'd be something he would wear this one was one of my favorites so this is jada espinoza and her is her color scheme was all black so i decided to go with a vampire queen and i know you that's been a, like a very big topic in my comments lately is like having a vampire queen so if i did add a vampire queen i would definitely want her to look something like this this is not what i end up going with i take a while before i find like the style that i like at the end so i was just playing around with like her makeup a lot i ended up arching her eyebrows more just because like i mean her traits were like evil so she definitely like wanted her to be like an evil vampire queen which was just 
just so cool. I ended up not even going with a crown for her because I couldn't find anything that I thought worked really well. And I've seen stuff out there that's kind of like a very cool vampire crown for like a queen or a king, but I've never actually downloaded it before. So it would have been a good idea to download it for her. But I think what I ended up going with was really cool. I wanted to add like, so the dress I ended up going with, which you guys will see, is actually a dress that I've used many times in my royal family series. It's actually a dress that our main characters have worn. I'm pretty sure Princess Amira, it's one of her outfits. But the fact that it was in the black color, it, it's this one. So the, oh, well, I passed it a few times. But um, the fact that it comes in black, it just made it look so different. And like the embroidery on it kind of reminded me of like bat wings. So I ended up going with this for her outfit. And then I have that fur, which yeah, I changed to the dark red instead and I think I'm pretty sure I changed like her hair and stuff too but it just oh guys got it looks so so cool so I am extremely happy with how hers turned out it's definitely much different than I think Erin was expecting but I'm excited to show you guys her reactions to everything at the end as well and you guys will see too very soon so at the end um, with her reactions the sound we were having trouble with it so I ended up having to put her on speakerphone and putting it against my mic so her sound isn't that great so I apologize for that but I think you guys will still be able to hear her and hear her reactions and you'll get to actually like see the finished product of everything too. So this is the last one. This is Clementine Fowler and she was Erin's favorite and she was very just like simple. Like everything she wore was simple but her color scheme is brown and it just looks so so cool. So I ended up going with a lot of like brown for her too but then I kind of did like a little bit of an orangey tint for her hair. So for her she reminds me of like like the end product kind of reminds me of like a princess like Zelda or something like that. Like that's kind of what she reminded me of. I wanted to go with something very different for her style. And this makes me want to have like a kind of like Game of Thrones slash Zelda themed kingdom because it just it looked so so cool and I was so happy with the way that hers turned out. But the video is actually ending so I'm about to get into the reaction soon so we'll go ahead and transfer into that. Hey Erin. Yes, I see it. I see it. Oh yes. my god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so I pretty much made everyone like, so I was like, what do I have the most of custom content? It was like, um, gowns and, and high end fashion and like princess stuff and, and king stuff. So I made each of them kind of like their own little like royal, but like of like way different things. With Abby, like her, you said her thing was like that she was like a botanist and she was like really into like, I guess like nature and stuff. I had to like randomize some of the traits. So these don't match what you had before because I didn't have all the right. traits. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so I had this dress and it looked like like leaves and stuff on it. So I went with that. And then like her jewelry is like the flowers and they came in green too. So I thought that was perfect. And then with the crown, I don't know, with that one, it seems to me like kind of like a crown from like an elf crown or like something from like Game of Thrones kind of, but I thought it worked really well because like the stone in the center is the green. And then I kept like the green makeup. I also had played around with some of the like lipstick being green and I, I like same as you, I just like couldn't, I couldn't do it. It just didn't look right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay, so this one is Abby. And then we have Candace. This is her. For her, you had done like the like very like romantic sort of thing. So I thought this dress was perfect. I like downloaded, I was at work today and like just downloading a bunch of custom content from the Sims resource for today <laughs> so I could do all this. <laughs> Um, but for her, yeah, so I kept like, I just thought like the floral still worked really well just because it was like super flirty, flirty. And then the bouquet too, which on like a, like a little wedding bouquet thing. And then I kept like her hair pink. I, I realized too, originally, I think they had like skin, like custom content skins on them. So like she had come out really pale and then so did, so did the silver one, Helena. She had come out really pale too. And I was like, why did they look different? I was like, oh my God, that's not their skin color. So, um, yeah, that can yeah, yeah, for sure. I was like, they look so different. But yeah, I just thought the dress was very just like Juliet sort of style. So that's kind of what it reminds I, me of. I absolutely love them so far. Good, good. I'm glad. Like, I was like, so, I mean, I should have figured you'd go this. Way. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was just so stunned by how like beautiful they look. Like, the first one, like, I mean, she just looks like the, the floral details and stuff is amazing. And like the fact that you made eyeshadow, like green eyeshadow, look good. That's right. <laughs> I was and surprised. It just looked perfect too. Like I, I absolutely love that dress. I love that she's like holding a bouquet. 
perfect. Oh, good. I'm glad. Okay, good. Okay, so for chaining, um, so you had made him like a party animal and like a dancer, and I was like trying to think of like how can I like put that into royal form. So I kind of made him like a, I guess like a pirate king sort of. It just seemed like the most like rebelish to me. So this is like a completely different style, but. It was, I think before, I think you had him in like a, like one of those like DJ vests or something like that. So I was trying to think of something that looked like similar to that. This is kind of what I came up with that. So this is a just complete risk take of what I did with him. And then- Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And then just, yeah, like with the jewelry, I just found like r like rings and like the red. I can't, I wish you could like zoom in on their hands specifically. So yeah, that's him. I know this is like really, really different. He is like so intimidating. Right? <laughs> Perfect. It looks like something from like a Broadway musical or something like that. <laughs> okay, and then next we had Helena. So yeah, before her skin turned out like very pale white and she looked so weird uh, with like the silver everything and like the white skin and I was like, that's not right. So I had to like go back and change it. So I, I think you had said she was like perky and like mischievous and uh, what was it? Like the pleasure one or something like that? Yeah. Um, which I know can be taken in like different ways because I know there's like the bohemian way and just like enjoying nature and then maybe just like wanting to go have fun or something like that. I went with like a little bit more scandalous dress and then it kind of reminded me of like sort of like an ice queen a little bit. And then I kept like her curly hair. Um, I thought this hair went really well with it. Oh, and then with the jewelry, I went with like this metallic kind of jewelry that I saw because I thought that worked really well with it too. And then I kept like the silver eyeshadow and everything also. Definitely the minute I saw her, I thought ice cream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I actually love like her really curly hair with it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's really neat. I actually think the crown's just about right, like in terms of like also like it has to have like a slight contrast because otherwise like I think what was really hard with this, the fact that like you stuck with like the solid colors too, and you made them look like so vibrant because like it can look really monochrome like. Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's all great. So, yeah, she looks fantastic. That is definitely a scandalous dress. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Yeah, with the dress, I was like, that adds a little bit more pop to hers, which is really cool. So this one's a little, I don't have any alpha hair to make it not look like cotton candy, because I know you said that with Max's match, it made it look like cotton candy, and it totally does. I was like trying to figure this one out, but I figured like the shirt, like the ruffles on it kind of reminded me of like a waterfall, sort of. So I went with a shirt for that. And then so with him, I know he's like kind of like, he just looks like so like gloomy, which I know is his trait too, because I figured it worked. The shoes, and the tights I was not sure about but I didn't want to put them in boots because it didn't look good with the pants but I kind of went with like a silver and blue scheme because the crown was silver and blue I love that crown yeah me too it, it looks look like it like makes his eyes pop more which it does weird, yeah but I really love that yeah good but yeah I don't I don't think boots would have worked well I think you I think you went the right way I wouldn't have known what to do yeah honestly because like when I met when I met Like a hot mess to me too though like still trying to figure out life like yeah but i do like him definitely he's a lot better i think he, you know he's one of the, i think making a sim all blue even though blue is my favorite color mm -hmm. like what do you what do you do with that but right like, like that top. Oh good, I'm glad. Yeah, I thought I figured the top was like the best thing that worked with it. Cause I was like, I had like other like royal jacket stuff and I was like, everyone's seen this already in my stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna go with something like a little bit different. Plus it like matches the hair and the shoes. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't get too creative with Dion. You said he was like artistic. So I put him in the suit that I, figured was like very, very artsy, like something that like someone who was really rich and who had a lot of money and who was like into the art sort of thing would wear. So with him, I didn't really go with like the royal route. I went with either like a noble or just like someone with a lot of money. Cause you said he like wanted to have a lot of money, but I feel like with the suit, it was almost like a little tacky. So like it probably doesn't cost as much as it looks or something like that. I love it. He looks like super conceited and yeah. he looks like like really thinks like he owns the world so, yeah like, people secretly are like wow <laughs> I love the name. I just thought that was hilarious, the Dijon. <laughs> okay, so this one's a little jarring, but this is Jada. Whoa! Yeah. 
So I made her like a vampire queen, sort of. I couldn't really find any crowns that went with her like style, but I figured just with like adding the like fur and like the necklace, I figured that was like queen enough. Um, and then I also like, just like love her hair too. And then I've, I've, I've used that dress before, but it's been like pink and purple. So I thought it looked so cool being black. Cause like the, I guess those are like vines or something on the chest, but it kind of like reminded me of bat wings a little bit. Oh, that's crazy that I think I, now, I, now that you said that, I think I do recognize the dress. Yeah. Like, that's like weird that you get that dress. Right? Yeah, the colors oh make God, it look so different. Uh-huh. Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm like, I think this is like, not like, if I saw her like in my game, I'd be terrified. But I think right. it's one of the best ones because it's just like so like, yeah, it's really jarring, but like in like the perfect way. <laughs> Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, she was a lot of fun. I was like, I need like a vampire queen or something eventually in my game. So I was like, she would definitely probably look like this. <laughs> okay, and then I really like this one a lot. So I know you had her be like sort of simple. So I kind of made her into like, like a bohemian sort of, this also reminded me of an elf queen a little bit. I thought like the shoulders, like the sleeves on that looked really cool with everything. And then I kind of like went with like, Instead of like the bracelet jewelry, like the one on the arm I always think is really cool. So I thought it went perfectly with this. So it's like a mix between like copper and stuff. And then like with the jewelry, it's very like, like coppery. But yeah, it kind of reminded me of like a Zelda-ish sort of princess. And then I thought the crown went well with it too. So I'm probably biased because she was my favorite when I made her. Right. But stylistically for my own personal style, she's my favorite. Yeah. I think she looks like Gorgeous. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I tried. I was like trying to keep with the style that you had, but it's so hard when you're like turning them into like much more extravagant or something like that. So, but I thought this was like still like so simple, but like also not at the same time. Oh, she's so beautiful. You did such a nice job. Oh, you know, thank like, you. I kind of went from this DC. <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. yeah. Every single one I was just like absolutely blown away by. Oh good, I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, so I was like trying to like, like with the SWAT video that we saw, I know that they were like also trying to keep it the same style too. And I thought like just keeping with the, the, the color schemes, especially with like the hair and stuff too, was like so much fun. Good, I was like, I know I'm giving you a lot of really weird sims, but I thought it'd be a really fun way to see what you with it. No, I'm, gl I'm so glad you gave me these sims because I feel like any other regular sims it would have like kind of looked the same as like anyone else I've had so I think like the color scheme like made it like very special. Thanks so much for collabing with me. Yeah, thank you too. This was so much fun. So yeah guys, so that is it for my part of the collab. So if you want to go see Aaron's makeover for Harley and Princess Amira, go ahead and click that link in the description below so you can watch that video. She did such cool things. She already showed it to me and it's just like the coolest thing ever. The style is so different. It looks amazing. So I'm so excited for you guys to see that. Make sure you subscribe to her channel as well. Give her channel some love and make sure you subscribe to my channel as well. Turn on your notifications so you never miss another video. If you enjoyed this and you want me to maybe do some more collabs, give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment in the description below of who your favorite sim was in my video. Which color was your favorite? Which person was your favorite? Because I'm really excited to see your guys' opinions on that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!